half my family, never even been to this country before, no concept of what it's like to live here. My sister says things like, it must be so hard to live there. Everyone in Israel is a hero. <laughs> what? Have you been to Bat Yam? <laughs> Just screaming at each other, chain smoking. Yeah, I don't see no S on their chest. Everybody's a hero. <laughs> Way up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's super arse. <laughs> I did that joke in Baya one time. Out of the crowd comes, I'm an ox, I'm sexy man. Well, he didn't say it, but his t shirt said it. When no one's noticed the ridiculous English t shirts in this country, do people even know what they say before they put them on? I passed a Russian grandmother walking down the street. Her shirt said, Pimp and Ain't Easy. <laughs> well, I'm in a walker, it's not, Grandma. That's for your golden years, take a load off. How are you supposed to learn about things here, man? I watch television, I try to learn about the country that way. But it seems a lot of American TV shows end up coming here. Like Survivor became. He's our dude. American Idol became. So I love it. You know what I'm waiting for? Israeli fear factor. This show would be so easy to write. All the challenges, they're here. Round one, drive. <laughs> Not with spiders in a car with Israeli people. I wouldn't do it. Round two, go to the post office, cut in line. <laughs> Round, go to the shook, lick the ground. <laughs> it's really fear back to people. <laughs> well, I commend you guys for coming to Israel, spending time here. It's really important. Uh, so many of my friends in America, they just don't understand this place. They don't know what's going on. I get the dumbest questions. My friends are like, you live in Israel. Do you ride a camel to school? <laughs> what are you, an idiot? I'm an adult. I ride a camel to work. <laughs> Better fuel efficiency. You gotta know what's going on, man. I mean, we had a war a couple months ago. It's terrible. And so much of the world is against us. You know, people blame Israeli Hasbara. I don't think that's the thing. I don't think it's our message that's the problem. It's our spokespeople. Because if you get even one word wrong, if you say one thing wrong, totally changes your message. Mr. Ambassador, we're here on CNN. How do you explain Israel's policy towards the Palestinians? Well, let me ask you this. What would you do if people came into your country with the sole purpose to blow themselves? <laughs> uh, are we in the air? <laughs> I love that joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, good times in this realm. Technology.